and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I have a home decor haul for you. I love these so much. I love filming them. I love watching them. So I'm always super excited to bring you another home decor haul. Every so often I like look around and I'm like, oh, I think I've accumulated enough stuff for another one of these. <laughs> so the time has come. But before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really want to make it to 400 subscribers. Maybe by the time I posted this video, we already reached it. If so, yay, thank you so much. And welcome if you're new here <laughs> on my channel we talk all things home decor I love doing room makeovers and thrifting I love antiques and I think the most I post the most I post I think the most frequent video I post are home decor hauls I have a slight shopping addiction but that's okay because it's fun and I get a lot of things secondhand and on Facebook we're always looking to decorate our homes on a budget here so without further ado let's just jump right on in to the haul usually in my hauls I realize there's like a bit of repetitive things sometimes it's like I got a lot of vases and this time it's quite a few coffee table books and faux florals so i'm excited to show you everything that i've gotten recently okay so i'm going to start with the little small items i have here and i'm not sure if you can hear him but we actually got a new kitten and i've never filmed a youtube video with a cat before so we'll see how this goes actually he's right here let me see if i can get him for you everyone this is milo we've only had him for about a week actually like basically just a week so he's very oh my god he's he's crazy but he's so cute and i love him so let's hope that you can't really hear him especially because he loves some of these dried florals i'm going to be showing you okay so the first thing i'm going to be showing you is this little vase from h&m home it's so cute i just have it styled on my tv stand and it's got so much te texture in it it's this really pretty like mauve color so really loving that i want to say it was like 12 or 14 dollars cute okay so i usually go in order of store but this time i'm just gonna kind of be grabbing stuff because there's a pretty oh my god so the next things are these super cute candle sticks or candle holders from Structube actually. I was doing an online pickup and I saw these and they were only $7 each, which I had been eyeing indigo ones for a long time, but they're like 30 or 40 each. Oh, you can see the hole in my icon. Usually I have a coffee table book there, but I'm gonna be hauling that for you, so just ignore. <laughs> but i had been eyeing chapters candlesticks very similar shape to like this um it just had a different bottom but they were way more expensive so that's why when i saw these i picked them up immediately and one is taller than the other i've clearly burned the heck out of the candles in here okay then the next small item i got is actually from ikea i picked these up for my birthday dinner but i just wanted to share them because they're so cheap and so cute so they are these little tiny fluted tea light holders. They're like 30 or 60 cents each. If you saw my birthday vlog, then you would have seen these. But I actually picked up six of these because again, they were so cheap and they're nice to have. And I just think they're absolutely gorgeous and they look way more expensive than they are. Yeah, so I absolutely love these. You could also just use them for like a ring dish if you wanted um to have it in your bedroom or something and you didn't want to light any candles i just think they're so cute i love them and then actually sticking with the same style i picked up these glasses and i actually got these ones from amazon they're more popular from crate and barrel they're about eight dollars a glass and they were pretty much that on amazon i don't remember the exact price the thing is on Amazon, I was able to get these way sooner than the Crate and Barrel ones. And I'm pretty sure Crate and Barrel has expensive shipping. So I just went for the Amazon ones. I'm not sure how they compare to the Crate and Barrel ones because I haven't seen them in person. 
but these glasses are so popular and for good reason. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. So if you're looking for an elevated glassware, this is definitely one that I would suggest. It comes in a taller one as well, but the taller ones on Amazon are pretty expensive. I think they're like $16 per cup and I don't think that's the price on Crate and Barrel so that's why I just got I ordered only ordered two of the small um just because I wanted to try them out maybe I'll get the Crate and Barrel ones I'm not exactly sure but for now I just like to have these like for water or something just something small but so cute before I get into the coffee table books I'm first going to show you this oh now he's chewing on the palm leaves stop it I'm just going to show you this chapters book stand that I got it. I'm holding the same piece. So it just like comes in two pieces like this and then they click in like this. These are getting more and more popular for like console tables and things like that. I wouldn't suggest this one for a cookbook. Those I would say get more of like an upright standing one. But if you want to display your coffee table book open, then these super cute stands are a gorgeous way to do that. I'm not the biggest fan of like the random holes. It feels like there needs to be screws or something, but it didn't come with any. You just slide them in. So that's a bit confusing. I absolutely love the brushed gold. And this is originally $40. So I did. Oh. It's I just realized it's supposed to go like this. So now you can't see the holes. <laughs> anyway, um, this is originally $40. So I saw it when it was new and I loved it. But I was like, I'm not spending $40. I left it. And obviously, spoiler alert. Last time I was at Chapters, I saw it on sale for $20. So I thought that was fair. So I picked it up at $20. Okay, this... And now that I can't see those little holes, I actually like it a lot better. Okay, so for coffee table books, I have three of them for you. And actually I say coffee table books, but one of them is a recipe book. So the first one is this Sunday Suppers one. I had my eye on this one for a while. I think that the cover is stunning and the pictures inside are really, really gorgeous. The recipes look so good and I really like how they have them organized. So they have like spring foragers lunch, noon, like just little things like that. Um, oh, they have an iced coffee and cream recipe. I should read that one. Um, but I think this book is so stunning, styled on a shelf. And then if you're looking for some recipe inspo, you can just grab it and flip through. Um, oh, that's a cute birthday party setup. I absolutely love this book. And I got this one from Amazon, actually. Then at this, uh, then during the same trip that I got the book stand, I actually picked up this super cute home decor book. So it was between this one and the Kinfolk Home, Kin, yeah, Kinfolk Home book. And I decided on this one. It was a bit pricey. It was $75. Oh, hello. So I picked up this book called Family Homes and it just shows a bunch of different families homes. <laughs> and I was flipping through this at chapters and I just fell in love with it. I, all of these homes, oh my gosh. And they're so unique and so cool and such a dream and you just get to see how other people live like oh my god look at this house i love it it was pricey i don't normally spend that much on books but i again tell you i fell in love with it definitely my all-time favorite home decor book that i have so if you are a big home decor buff like me then you have definitely seen this book before that I'm about to show you. It is probably the most popular coffee table book on the market. And I waited a really long time to buy it because it is stupidly expensive. It's like brand new, $125. 
I didn't spend that though, so don't worry. Um, and honestly, no judgment um, to people who have, like I wish, but anyway, it is the AD, a century of style. So here's the thing. <laughs> Um, on I got this from Amazon and you can buy used books on Amazon so that's what I did because I think I got mine for $80 which is still very expensive so <laughs> definitely like this was something that I didn't buy for a long time and then once I got my console table I knew that I wanted the book so yeah I just kept an eye on Amazon and waited for them to have one used so some of this is from me because I put a va this vase on it and some of the black kind of has rubbed off on it and then um like this dent these dents that wasn't me that was from the used Amazon so it's just hard because you're buying something used but it's still used it's still $80 so I don't know if I should have settled for those bumps, but at the end of the day, I have it styled like this, so you can't really see it. And as far as like coffee table books go, I mean, it is still really cool to flip through, but I prefer the family homes on the inside, like the actual book contents more. And that one is 75 new. So just something to take note of, but this definitely is like an iconic book and a, so many people have it in their homes and it's just because it's so it's like the color is perfect the texture is amazing and everyone loves architects <laughs> and everyone loves architectural digest so yeah i'm happy that i finally got it but it's definitely a splurge and also i had asked for it for christmas but i think even my mom was like i'm not buying you a 125 dollar book <laughs> Okay, so I already showed you one kitchen item with the fluted glass or the ribbed glass, but I just have a couple more kitchen kind of item, all from HomeSense. So the first one is this bread box. I actually wasn't sure. I got this literally last week, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it. That's why I have all the stickers on it. So this one was $20 and it's a great size. So they actually have huge ones as well, but this size is perfect. And the reason I love it so much is because I have the cream smeg toaster and kettle and it's the same color and shape. So I just thought, gotta stick with the theme and that went really well together. So I picked that up. Then on the same trip, I picked up this, it's not a butcher block, but it's like a wooden block. It's got little legs. And I did want a vintage one, like I'll post an inspo pic. This one was $16.99 and the area that I put it was kind of bugging me that it was unfinished. Just picked it up because I thought it was a great price. And when I eventually find the perfect one that I was looking for, I can replace it. But for now, this is doing a great job. It's so cute. So I'll show you how I have that styled. But yeah, just $16.99 for this. And lastly, for HomeSense kitchen wear, I picked up this glass dome. So I got this a little while ago and a lot of people are using this for like their butter. I kind of bought it with the intention of that, but I have really small countertops. So instead I've just styled it on my kitchen shelf here. It's got these little legs. Do I have the price? Yeah, this was a $14.99 and then also I can use it to put a couple treats or cupcakes or whatever if I have guests over. That's like what they're originally for, is like a dessert little dome. So I love that so much. We are almost finished. The last leg of the haul are weirdly all dried florals, <laughs> um, or like not dried, I keep saying dried, faux florals. So, oh, actually one of the things I forgot, it actually just came in today. I cannot be more obsessed with it. I have been dreaming of this item for so so long i picked up a little bench from zara home i forget whose haul i was watching but um i'll post it here if i can find it but she was doing a zara home haul and as soon as as soon as soon as she posted this bench i went onto the website and ordered it because it's exactly what i'd been looking for it's 
obviously new but it's made out of reclaimed wood and it's exactly what I imagined so I'll just insert some clips because it's huge and I don't want to pick it up obviously but yeah I picked that up from Zara Home and it's the perfect it's just skinny enough that like it doesn't get in the way between the end of the bed and the dresser because that is something that I was worried about and I actually like that it is new because it's sturdy enough that I can sit on it <laughs> just I love it so much so if you've been with me for a long time like I'm talking just freshly started I made a video on like rating decor trends and <laughs> I used to have a little bit of a hate on for olive trees like olive branches because one I don't even like olives okay but I just see them everywhere and they're so the the branches and the trees are so dainty and pretty and it's got villa vibes and I just I really have fallen in love with it but of course, olive trees are so expensive. So I had just been waiting it out. And actually, Ikea came out with an olive tree. <laughs> Hi, Milo. So actually, Ikea had come out with an olive tree. And it was only $54. So I will insert a clip. But when I got there, I realized it doesn't even have olives on it, which is so funny. And it's also quite short. So I'm going to be on the hunt for a huge like olive jar, I think they're called. Um, just like a huge vase that will hopefully raise the tree and just make it look more realistic, I guess, because it's kind of short. And I'm happy that I was able to find it at such a good price. I'm not ready to spend $200, $300 on a faux tree yet. <laughs> okay, so it's been a few weeks later and you're never going to believe that I found the exact same jar, kind of olive jar, huge vessel that I was talking about. And let's go a step further because wait till you see how much I freaking paid for it. What? This thing is huge. I can't even believe it. I squealed when I saw it in store and it just elevates the tree. Hi Milo, this is how much Milo's grown. <laughs> it just elevates the tree so much and makes it look 10 times better. Look at the vibes, look at the vibes. Eee, it's so cute. Uh, the only thing I wanna change is I already had this grass, this like fake grass. So um, I think I would prefer pebbles. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the hunt for that slash I haven't even tried <laughs> um, because that's been working fine. But yeah, it was actually the exact same width. So I didn't need to prop anything up inside. It just totally worked out and I don't know, I'm just, I'm obsessed, so love it. Okay, and speaking of faux olive trees, I actually picked up some branches um, from Amazon. This pot is old, it was in one of my hauls, but I got this little bundle of three. It was like 20 bucks, Milo has been obsessed. It just fits the space so perfect. I just have it beside the TV in the bedroom and these ones actually have olives. I really love this. I also think it would be gorgeous here. So we'll see if these move around. I'm super happy with these and they're just so, I just love them now. It's not funny how life works. Then from HomeSense, I actually forgot about this. So I picked up this beautiful, I never know like when to call it a vessel, when to call it a pot. So this pot slash vessel, I love that it has like the chip on it. I don't love that it has this terracotta part. I was gonna paint it, but I just love the texture and color of the top part and I didn't wanna risk ruining it. So I've just left it and it hasn't bothered me. So I'm just gonna keep it like this at least for now. So I'm hoping I can get like a huge one of these and then I can put the olive tree Oh my god, please stop. Then I can put the olive tree in this kind of situation, but this one's obviously way too small. So yeah. Okay, so the last two things. The first thing being this beautiful faux thyme tree. <laughs> Very much like me, I never read the dimensions. So I thought this was going to be a lot smaller and I thought I would be able to put it on my countertop 
and it does fit in one of my countertops but it's just like too big it was a bit weird so now i just have it styled on my coffee bar i then got this pot from h m to put it inside and it even comes with this little saucer so i just have it styled like this but i saw this on a website it's called a topiary or topiary so it's like a little thing that can go on top of something that's what i'm assuming topiary means i kind of could be totally making that up so i saw that and i fell in love but it turns out i wasn't able to ship it to canada so i was on the hunt for faux time trees and i found this one on amazon it was a bit pricey um i want to say 80 dollars um but faux trees obviously it's gonna last forever so i can take this with me and then also you can always cut this and then like replant it with cement if it's not exactly what you're looking for like i could totally do that as i transition into like other rentals and things so yeah definitely happy with that so that is everything for our haul today say thank you milo please subscribe and like the video <laughs> and we will see you next time bye